Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So today, I'm so excited to give you guys a review of the full collection of Wet n Wild with Bretman Rock. It is called Jungle Rock, and I do have the huge PR package. And I did give you guys an unbiased review because I know that there are many reviews out on the internet right now. And of course, this is the look that I created, but there are definitely a lot of things that I want to tell you guys before you buy. So definitely stay tuned for that. So I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. The reason why I just wanted to explain the reason my title says unbiased it's because I don't know Bretman Rock and I'm not accusing anyone to be biased but I know that a lot of times when youtubers come out with products and other youtubers review it they're usually friends and um, maybe they're afraid to like say the truth or maybe um, they don't like to talk about the things that they don't like only the things that they do like but I am very transparent I mean I have no uh, issues with just telling you guys the truth because that's what you're here for and I will say it has gotten me in trouble a couple times like my Kathleen Light So Jaded palette I wasn't the biggest fan and I will say a lot of Kathleen's fans came at me and I just want to say guys I'm also a fan of them and I am a fan of Bretman Rock and if for some reason I don't like something it's nothing against him I'm just trying to save you guys money. This is the PR box by the way I'm officially in Wet n Wild's PR list, which is so exciting. By the way, none of this is sponsored or anything like that. All right, so that's the whole collection. <laughs> I have nothing on my face other than moisturizer and brows. So let's just start out with the eyeshadow palette since I don't know if it'll have fallout or not. Okay guys, so this is called the Bretman Rock Wet n Wild Jungle Rock Palette. It is $14.99 and it is a 15 pan shadow palette with a mix of bold and neutral colors with satin, matte, and shimmer finishes. So apparently it has rich pigment and high payoff formula that blends effortlessly with a soft glide application and it supposedly also has a smooth formula for optimum texture and comfortable all day wear. The palette does come with a nice little sleeve and in this sleeve it actually has the shade names as well as the shades on the actual palette. It doesn't, but it's very pretty. I know that swatches aren't everything, but I will say the one shade that was very odd to me was the shade Anaconda. It doesn't really have payoff. Like I'm rubbing, I'm rubbing, and this is what I'm getting. So that's weird, but I really, I wanted to show you guys this first before I scratched off the surface. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm scratching it off. And I'm getting a little bit more pigment. So, um, yeah, just want to let you know that if you were really looking forward to this blue shade, it's not as pigmented, but it might be good for like a crease shade. I have no idea what kind of look I'm going for, but I'm going to speed this up and just show you guys all the shades that I'm using. And at the end of the quick tutorial, which actually is not a tutorial, I'm just really trying out the shades. I will tell you guys what I think of it. So I'm first going to prime my eyes with some concealer and set it with some powder. And then I'm going to go...
Okay guys, so this is the look completed with eyeliner. I did that off camera. Um, I actually, you know, these are not my typical colors. I could have easily done something very neutral, but I didn't want to because I feel like I always do that. And I feel like if you're gonna wanna buy this palette, you probably want it for the brighter colors. My favorite shade was Big Peacock Energy. This green um, laid beautifully, as well as Prowl, which is the gold that I have in my inner corner. It is more, more like a yellow gold. Brown shade, as well as this red shade, um, they blended everything out really, really nicely. The shades that I use, I will say I really did like it. It's like some of the shimmers are a little bit crumbly, like this one right here, but it's really just like the formula of Wet n Wild. You know, when you do touch it, it is a little bit crumbly, but um, they're very pigmented. So, I mean, if you don't care about that, then who cares? Uh, like I said, the only one that I just, I'm like shook about is Anaconda. So I, I do like the palette for what I used and the way the swatches looked. I do like it. Um, it's $15, so I do think that, you know, it's pretty affordable. If you wanna support Bretman and you like these shades, then I would definitely purchase it. I just wouldn't get it if this is the shade that you really, really want. So let's move on to the mascara. I know I have very dramatic liner and eyeshadow, unfortunately, but I'm still gonna test out the mascara, and even after this video, I'm gonna keep testing it out, and if it's something that I really love, I will put it in my monthly favorites. So this mascara is called the Bad B Lift Mascara. It is $7.99, and it's supposed to provide lashes with a curl and a lift, as well as volume and length, that washes off with soap, water, with no harsh tugging, visibly lifts lashes with no curler needed. I'm actually gonna curl my lashes, because I do that with every mascara, and I feel like Trying out products the way you use your other products is probably the best chance at giving it a best chance. By the way, I totally forgot to show you guys um, the brushes that I'm using. So I did use two brushes from the collection. It comes with three, but two are for eyes. So the two brushes that I used, uh, and I will show you guys right here, one was the Eyeshadow Precision Blending Brush. It is for blending and applying and smudging. It is $6.99, as well as the Eyeshadow Placement Brush, which is more for applying powder and cream shadow, and this one's also $6.99. I thought they both worked beautifully. The handles are really nice and sturdy, and they worked really well, so I do like these brushes. So, let's move on to the mascara. The shape of the wand, it's very interesting. It is like curved, but it almost looks like a claw. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do two coats on each side and I'll tell you guys how I feel about it. Wow, um, I know you guys can't really see with this eyeshadow and I'm really sorry about that, but this mascara is actually surprising me. It's only $8. It definitely gave my lashes a beautiful curl and a lot of volume and length. The only thing I don't think it does as well is separate the lashes. It's not like it's super clumpy, but I do like all my lashes like very sparse and separated. And this one doesn't really do that because of the brush, but I will say I got the length, I got the volume, and I got the curl, and I really like that. So if you have those needs and you're looking for an affordable mascara, this is a pretty good one. So I'm quickly gonna apply some lashes and finish the rest of my makeup before we go on to the loose highlighter, the um, face mist, and of course the glosses. So we are looking very dramatic. I am not used to wearing this much makeup, but let's just roll with it and let's look at the highlighter duo. So this is called the Loose Highlighter Duo. It is $7.99. It is a duochrome highlighter with microfine pearl pigments for a multicolored soft focus highlight. The shades can be used individually or combined for a custom unique look. You can also add holographic dimensions to the lids, eyelids, and body. So both of the shades are called Lioness and Tigress. Right off the bat, I just wanna say thank you Wet n Wild for putting a sifter I cannot work without sifters anymore, especially with loose highlighters because a little bit goes a long way. So the shade Lioness, which is a more gold shade, it is really beautiful and it does have 
um, a little bit of like a white gold shimmer base the bronzy shade this is almost only glitter like as you guys can see it does have a little bit of a pink base but um, it does have a lot of gold and pink glitter so I don't think I would use that on my face but I would use it as an eyeshadow I can tell by the consistency too that it's just a little bit more um, chunky and the other highlighter the gold one is more finely milled but today I'm just gonna stick to what I know will look good on me which is the gold shade so I'm actually gonna use the highlighter brush that the PR kit came with but just like the other brushes it also came with the tube so it's a highlighter brush um, is used to apply highlighter powder to cheekbones cupid's bow or bridge of the nose this is um, $7.99 so it's only one dollar more than the eyeshadow brushes this is the one from the older collection so this is what they look like they look pretty similar so um, I don't think you need to purchase this if you already have this one but if you don't have a highlight brush and you want one under ten dollars then um, here's a good option so I'm gonna go ahead and just highlight my face I'm gonna go in with a really light hand first and then build it up depending on how intense it is Ooh. That was with such a light hand. Um, I will say on the face, it looks a little bit more frostier, a little bit more of a white gold than a yellow gold. So I'll do a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm going in with like the lightest hand. I don't really wear this much highlighter anymore but I do like it. It's just for me, I just don't, I don't go for the glazed donut look anymore. I think that this highlight is maybe a little bit too light of shade on me. Everything's preference, but for me, I do prefer more of a warmer base. I'm not going anywhere, so let's just try out the pinker one just to see how it looks. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys can even tell but this is definitely glittery. Not in a bad way, I mean, it just really depends on what you like. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but see how there is more of a chunky formula? If you're into both and you want two different shades, then this would be great for you. If you prefer something a little bit more finer, then um, I definitely would just try one of their other loose highlighters that are also finely milled. So, um, cool product. I love the packaging. Everything about it is really fun. I love that it has sifters. The last thing we have are the lip glosses and the face mist. Let's just do the face mist really quickly. This is the only product that I actually have already tried, which is good because I already know my thoughts. This is a three-in-one face mist. It is a multi-use mist that can be used to prep, hydrate, and set your makeup. It delivers a unique blend of illuminating light reflecting properties that creates a soft, dewy glow with leaving a fresh scent of tropical flowers. So this is the shade Do Me in the Jungle and it is $7.99. The only con that I have is that the sprayer isn't the best. Um, it's not a bad sprayer at all, but the reason why it's important to have a good sprayer with such dewy products, you can get like splotches. So I've already used it before and I did set my makeup with it and some of the drops are bigger than the others. So you can tell where those drops were so you want to go in with a sponge and blend it but i will say it is a very beautiful dewy spray and it really does hydrate your skin i have used it as a prep mist as well so like as primer and i noticed that it kept my um face looking dewy and feeling hydrated for a very long time. So if you have normal to dry skin, you're probably going to love this. I will say, since it is so dewy and hydrating, I don't know how it would be for you with oily skin. You know what? I didn't get any bad ones today. What? Very dewy. Um, it actually didn't come out bad today. Usually I do have to kind of give it a little bit of a pat, 
but maybe that's just because um, this is only like the third time that I've used it, but it looks really pretty on the skin and I'm actually gonna use this a lot for also prepping the skin. Lastly, we are gonna look at the glosses. So there are three different glosses. High shine lip glosses that provide a sheer color, ultra lightweight, non-sticky gel formula. It contains pearl pigments to deliver brilliant dimension. So today I will try Fearless, which is a more like rosy one. The other one, which is called Ferocity, it looks like a very pale white base with a lot of gold glitter. And then the Freaky one, it looks like a very pretty like pinky purple one. I'm only gonna try out one because if I end up not using these two, I would rather give it away to you guys in a giveaway than to swatch them. So today I will be trying out Fearless. I'm quickly gonna line my lips with a, um, like a nude, a darker nude liner, and then I'll apply this on top. So this is the applicator. It's one of those like little flat paddles, which I actually do enjoy. Oh wow, this is thick. Like the formula is thick, but it's not thick in a bad way. It's kind of thick in a way that you think this is gonna last a really long time. It definitely feels like a thick gel, which is exactly what they said. It's a gel formula. Um, it's not sticky at all. And I think it looks really beautiful. So this is what it looks like. I actually think that this is a really, really beautiful everyday nude shade and it's very glossy. Alrighty guys, and this is the final result, final look. Um, I really did enjoy this collection. It's all super affordable. I think my favorite products were uh, the mascara was really good. I cannot wait to try the mascara without so much eyeshadow on. And then I also really did enjoy the face mist. Like I said, this definitely makes your skin feel just so hydrated and dewy. Overall, I am very impressed. Uh, congratulations to Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild. This is such a cool and huge accomplishment. Um, I will say the Jungle Rock little collection makes me feel pretty fierce i'm not gonna lie so pretty impressed with most of those products uh let me know what you guys think down below comment if you guys have already gotten that collection and what are you loving are any of our thoughts the same or are they different thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye